Hi, uh, I'm Jen from Iowa, and I'm adding my story because it's um, maybe a little bit different from most. Uh, I was never a registered Republican, uh, but I voted exclusively Republican for most of my voting life. Um, I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016 uh, because I felt it was my civic duty not to. Um, that I had to put the country's need ahead of my own values. Uh, at least some of them. Uh, and I, I spent, I kid you not, 10 minutes at the ballot box staring at the, for the, the bubble that said, Hillary Clinton, can I actually do this? And I did. Uh, I disagreed with Hillary on a lot of things, uh, including the uh, pro-choice, pro-life question. And her alliance building skills as Secretary of State did not impress me so much that I felt she warranted a promotion. I was also, like many of the people in the bubble at the time, felt that she seemed to think that it was owed to her that she had come up the ranks and now it was her turn. She needed the presidency. And those were the reasons that I did not want to vote for her, but I did because Donald Trump was had no experience uh, becoming a, a governor, maybe, becoming a, a senator, maybe, but president after no political experience it seemed, um, it seemed absolutely untenable. And I was afraid that he would revert to what he did know, which was running a reality TV show. And in fact, that is approximately what has happened uh, with himself as the star. And so there are a lot of philosophical reasons, a lot of political reasons why I still believe it is my civic duty to vote against Donald Trump. Uh, but there are some very specific things that have impacted me uh, and the people that I care about that I wanted to share. The first is his stance on immigration. I am not living abroad, but I teach English as a second language. So all of my students are people who have come from overseas. And especially in the last year with the policies that Trump has come out with about threatening their visa status, legal immigrants threatening their visa status and um, the way that antagonism against international students has increased um, under his influence. Uh, for example, one of my coworkers comforted a sobbing neighbor who had come from, I believe, Sudan, because after Trump was elected, someone posted on her front door, you can go home now. And my family are all immigrants. I don't know about yours, but if you're not actually Native American, you're an immigrant. So this policy is ridiculously hypocritical. Beside from that, it's hurting my students. It's hurting my profession. It's collapsing. Um, hundreds of thousands of jobs are being lost. Um, millions and millions of dollars in uh, tuition are being lost. Um, but also because I recognize his style, uh, the way that he convinces people that they have to vote for him, they have to stay with him, is the same way that a, an emotionally abusive spouse will convince the other spouse to stay with them because they're right, because you can't argue with them, because if they just shout, if they just get angry enough, you'll cave. And I know that because I am the survivor of emotional abuse of marriage. So I am not going to leave my country in this emotionally abusive presidency. And I'm going to vote for Biden. Thank you.